there are no male teachers in almost a third of schools in some areas. Uh, we're joined now by Ben Bradley to explain why he got all upset about the lack of male teachers. What is the implications of that for you, Ben? Morning, both. Um, I think it's really important. Um, so, as you said, one in three uh, children, and it's the worst in the East Midlands, where I am from, uh, have no male role model at school. But increasingly, uh, millions of kids live without dad at home. Um, 30,000 kids a month are um, subjected to abuse or really difficult situations at home. I'm concerned that uh, although we'd like to prioritise, you know, we want more maths teachers, we want more science teachers, uh, we don't prioritise more male teachers, even though so many children have no... Um, no sense of a, a healthy relationship or no positive male role model at home. Is this an issue in, in all schools, Ben, or just primary schools? Because I, I always thought it was an issue more in primary schools than, than secondary schools. Well, primary schools in early years in particular, so those figures uh, drop down to 14% of teachers in primary schools in early years, um, which is, is woeful. Um, but still, uh, only one in four in secondary schools as well. So it's all the way through the system. And whether you are, you know, five, six, seven years old trying to figure out just how to be around people and how to interact, and as I say, those healthy relationships between men and women, how to speak to people, how to treat people, uh, or whether you're, you know, 15, 16 and trying to work out how to be a man from that point of view, if you've got nobody to learn that from, or your role model's are, are not good ones, um, then that will no doubt lead to all sorts of societal issues. And say, in my seat, one in uh, three young kids uh, leave school with no qualification whatsoever, boys and girls. Um, but if you've got no, no, um, nobody to learn from, nobody to learn that work ethic from, uh, and I think it's also equally important for girls as well as boys, because they need to learn uh, about healthy relationships with, with men and how men and women should interact, as I say. So a uh, hugely important issue, one that we don't tackle. Ben, is this a deeper problem that you're alluding to there when you say a lack of male role models? Is this going into the home as well? Are we saying there's not enough men around these children? <laughs> Well, I think we are very quick to vilify men in our society increasingly. Uh, it's something we've talked about um, international men's day debates and things in the comments. Um, it doesn't often go down very well when we talk about uh, part of the reason that men uh, tend not to be uh, in primary or earlier settings is uh, very often there are, there are high profile examples of men being falsely accused of all sorts of horrible things in, in caregiving settings. It's not an easy thing to get into. So there is, uh, again, an issue more and more people not living with dad at home. It's not against single parents, but clearly uh, uh, role models from both uh, sexes are important for us to learn um, kind of how society works and how we interact with each other. One thing I've raised consistently for many years is that we're very, very keen with our equality laws to promote things like women into STEM, women into leadership roles, but we absolutely refuse as a society to recognise that there are areas where uh, men are massively underrepresented as well and we refuse to use those laws which are intended to work both ways to support men in, in positions like this.